Young football player defying the odds with this single touchdown. The 13-year-old's dream was met with plenty of challenges. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in Modesto with his road to the end zone. Ryan? Yeah, that's right. The Modesto Raiders football team spent 30 minutes of a two-hour practice here at El Vista Elementary perfecting one play. It's called a wedge play. What this would mean is that the team would line up as a quarterback and then tight the ball and the line would crash down, creating a wall for him to push his way into the end zone. They perfected it in the game, and the payoff is something that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. First the goal of the five-yard line. In the huddle, Coach Dave, he asked me, um, are you ready? And I said, and I said, kind of, <laughs> because I was nervous. 13-year-old Jason Bracey did what most teens would do after scoring a touchdown. He celebrated. I just pushed it on the, the center's back, and then I tumbled in the end zone. And after that, I just felt, I felt good. Touchdown! The elation of joy and resolution, because I know so long, he wanted to play football. But the play meant more than just points on the scoreboard. Bracey developed a form of eye cancer when he was younger, losing most of his sight. His father says all he sees when he steps on the football field is a blinding light. Me and the mom was always so reluctant to even get him out there. He was afraid that he was going to get hurt. But Jason's passion burned bright. He says he called five teams asking to play and got five no's. One day, that all changed. Oh, he blew up my phone. Coach David Nichols called Jason back, saying he could play on his team. Nichols tells CBS 13 Jason's lack of sight didn't mean he lacked the will to play football. When I first put him on my team, I was a little hesitant. I was because I never coached a blind kid before. But as it went on, this kid got more heart. Jason's coach says his attitude and heart are infectious. So he came up with a play for the whole team to help him find the end zone. I said, no, nah, we're getting him in there. And we got him in on the first try. The way I carried him off the field was the same way I used to carry him off out of the hospital. The team may not be able to see on the field, but Jason has a vision of what he wants to do next on the gridiron. Trying to get a sack. Trying to get a sack on the quarterback. We'll stay tuned because we're going to try to get him to throw a touchdown pass. The Modesto coach has tried to get Jason into the end zone in the past. His player said that he didn't want any special treatment. And one time that they did try to get him into the end zone, he got pretty hit. He got hit pretty darn hard, he was saying. And so that they're always trying to find ways to make him safe and try to get him into the end zone. All right. Yeah, new mountains to climb, though. A right. sack and a touchdown pass. I see it in his future. What a great kid. Yeah, amazing story, Ryan. Thank you.